This is the Rugby Odds, where an unlikely pundit panel of a wordsmith, a WWE legend, a rugby star, and a supermodel scour the globe, seeking best bets and bad behavior. Are you not entertained? Hello again, hello again, thank you, thank you. You're way too kind, way too kind. I don't deserve this, but thank you. Anyway, we've got a very busy show, and as you can see in the Sponsor Opportunity Green Room, WWE Hall of Famer John Bradshaw Layfield and inventor of words, King Gift A. Bailu, they're in the green room prepping for this very big show because we have a full slate once again. And before I bring them in, I just want to point out, if you're following what we're doing with our picks, you're making money. That's the bottom line here on the Rugby Odds, other than having some laughs and being entertained by my two idiot colleagues. But let's bring them in right now. John Bradshaw Layfield and Gift A. Bailu. Guys, uh, we, we didn't have our best week. But we still made money for the people, which is the important thing. And um, I will say this, John, there are very, very few redeeming things about you. Absolutely minimal redeeming qualities about you. No offense. Uh, one of them, though, is that, you know, when we get these picks, we're doing these early in the week before we find out about line out, uh, lineups and the line changes. So some of our records on the show on camera are not, are different than what we have later on in the week and we're guilty of not posting as often as we should with our changes but john you're very good at that and you're one of the two or three redeeming qualities in your life is that you're good at uh, adapting john you're very good at adapting so kudos to you I'm not sure that where this is going i don't i don't trust this. i don't trust this line i don't trust this line there's a hook here well, I gave you a compliment. I said you have three redeeming Sir, qualities. You don't ever give compliments, okay? I was like, I was up in the outback in Alaska, and I found this walrus penis, and I brought this on the show. Why? Because you're a dick. <laughs> <laughs> That's why. <laughs> uh, yeah. Okay. How about that? All right. Well, that's not one of your redeeming qualities. What? What do you mean it's not one of my redeeming qualities? Yeah, that's just you being you. I mean, you know, it takes one to know one is that expression, isn't Boy, it? Well, that is intelligent. That's a yeah. great comeback for a 50-year-old. Oh, year yeah. <laughs> the point is, you guys, we do make better picks away from the show, so you got to pay attention to us on social media. And you can see what I am in Super Brew, for instance, because I was 20 and 9 in my Super Brew picks last week where I was – you know, borderline over 500. Let me give you, for instance, four and one in the premiership on Super Brew, but two and two on the show. So you see there's a difference. And John's making these picks where he's fixing things and making over picks. Where did the extra picks. game come in? You were four and one, and then you're two and two. So uh, were you not picking a game early in the week? Did like, all of a sudden a game appear in the premiership? <laughs> John, <laughs> this John, is the biggest load of I've ever is, heard. Oh, we so you want to talk facts? It, oh, you want to talk facts? I'm like gift yes. fiction over facts. Come on. You are Matt George Santos McCarthy. These Where interns. Are in Congress? Where's he in Congress? Fire the interns. Back to the show. Anyway, <laughs> uh, some cool stuff that happened. We had a slap in the MLR. We had Quade Cooper going off in Japan after a minute because he just had to qualify to then play in a replacement battle, which is a promotion relegation thing that John aptly called a toilet bowl. So yeah. Quade Cooper and his star status took a lot of yen to just go on for a minute, come off the field, and not look humiliated in doing so. Yenny, any bills, y'all. But then you had Pote Human, the head coach of the Sabercats, slapping the strength and conditioning oh, coach of New York Ironworkers. Yes. Great. Which was, which was great. Which was great. And, you know, that's stuff that will penetrate the U.S. market if they're smart yeah, enough to use it. if you show it. If you show it. <laughs> so you got this little handbag going on, a little fisticuff match going on with the coaches. And what do they do? They don't replay it. They just act like it didn't happen. So let me ask you a question. Big robbery, okay? How about Boston and New York? What do you show? Routine fly balls, routine double plays? No, you show Pedro throwing down an old man that's a coach. You show A-Rod fighting with the catcher. 
because people love passion. People love emotions and people love rivalries. So you got this that happens in the, in the game with Houston coming up, which by the way, nobody knows the Houston players. And why don't they? Because there's no personality profiles. Listen, I want to explain this very clearly. MLR has got a great product. They've got great coaches. They've got great players. The problem is the production is terrible. Danny Barrett laid on the field with a broken arm, gets up and makes a tackle. Why is that not being shown every game? What do they show the Texas Rangers? Nolan Ryan waiting for Robin Ventura to come on and come get you some. The, the crowd goes ballistic because they know that's his guy. You play yeah. that and put say, Danny Barrett's our guy. This is how much he cares for the game. Major yeah. League Rugby should play that and say, this is how much our players care for the game. And they do. You've got studs out there playing a very physical game without helmets, and you've got no personality profiles to create interest in these guys, and you've yep. got this fight that goes on, and you don't even show it. Dylan Brooks, hardly anybody knew him out outside of NBA circles until he gets into a fight with LeBron James. Now, all of a sudden, this game means something with uh, the coming up with the Memphis Grizzlies. People are going to watch it. You've got to create interest in this league. That is a failure, a horrible failure of Major League Rugby and the management that does the production, not the product. The product is awesome. I watch almost every single game, which, by the way, is tough to do because your scheduling guy schedules them <laughs> at exactly the same time. Is he cross-eyed? I would have taken it one step further. I would have had somebody run up behind Pote and smash him with a folding chair. And then you have <laughs> the whole thing, you know, or stage these things, stage them. Why not stage it? The water I mean, bucket, that. get that involved. You play that every time Houston plays New York, play yeah, that. The yeah. They listen, even Build the coaches the get to a fight. People that don't care about rugby are going to care about rivalries. It's like, John, you, know you don't know anything is. about sports entertainment, John. What do you, you don't know anything. Okay. <laughs> That's your problem. People so don't want to be entertained. Rugby, the office, not the players, not the coaches, not the product on the field, gets the walk of shame this week. <laughs> I declare it. Well, How about that? I think you might want to keep that one in your pocket because you might be pleasantly surprised as who gets the walk of shame this week. Ooh, ooh, Just yeah. saying. Right, if I don't get it, I'll save that until next week. All right, you could save that. That's in your pocket. That's your survivor thing. And Gift, I got to tip my cap to you because you were 6-0 and oh. – in Japan Rugby League one picks. How do you do it, Gift? I'm an honorary Japanese rugby player with my Tokyo guy, Jean. And you know what? We, we, we sync together. We're all in sync together. We know what's happening over there, all right? So you don't know how you did it. Hey, hey, look, look. Some of it is skill. Some of it is luck. All of it is pure swag awesomeness coming through here, all right? Understand The it. king. Yes. Pure swag. The king. Pure swag awesomeness. The king. John, your Kitetsu liners were playing against uh, Gifts Green Rockets in what they literally called the wooden spoon match to see who was going to be the last team in the regular season or the bottom team in the regular season. The toilet bowl, because some one of them's getting flushed all the way down to relegation. So the bottom two teams, your liners and Gifts Green Rockets, play against the top two teams from division two and that team the winner of that tournament will be the team that comes up into the division one next year what all that wooden spoon talk about the liners and the green rockets brings us to this week's wooden spoon winner and john what it's not you this week yes and yes. as a good teammate i'm gonna take the wooden spoon yes and give it right to gift Right. See, see, once again, like I said, wooden spoons are the best to be able to cook with. All right. You make the best food with, you grow and you rise. So I'm willingly accept this wooden spoon that you don't have to clean as succinctly because any other type is full of bacteria. Recognize it. That's a man from knowledge, knows how to make Creole and clean wooden spoons. But the thing is about this show, guys, is that we're all pretty good at this. And get a guy like Gift can go six and zero oh and still get the wooden spoon. Why? Because we're doing our jobs. But that brings us to the next thing, the walk of shame. Ooh. And John, you could get the walk of shame every single moment of your waking life. What? But we can't just do that to you all the time. And Gift, you know, you won the wooden spoon, so one might be expecting you to get the 
walk of shame. There is no shame if you don't feel shame. <laughs> this guy, this guy's got a heart right here. It's in here. It's pumping. And I'm a teammate. So I am once again in the walk of shame. Why? Because I was 20 and nine in Super Brew and didn't share those picks with you two. And that's why I'm in this week's walk of shame. You know, you might already be in the walk of shame because my old glory t-shirt on reminds me that Paul Sheehy actually asked you this week, did you really go to the VIP section and bet against the team that was hosting you? Paul Sheehy, uh, just so people know who you're talking about, Paul Sheehy and Chris Dunlavy own Old Glory DC, who's as you have your nose so far up right Two now. good guys, and I got their shirt, and I Two bought it guys. because I went down with my own money, paid cash. Actually, I couldn't pay cash. They wouldn't take cash because I don't take freebies. But you took a freebie of the VIP section drinking their beverages for free, and you bet against the team who was hosting you. That is disgusting. The absolute insult. With our upcoming picks this week, we have the women's Six Nations first on the docket. And in that, we have England versus France. What is your pick here, Gib? England's got a forward pack like none other. And that being said, I can't get against Safan Daya, man. Like, she's too much of a beast. Love her to death. I love the two You're wings. You're picking France? Have. I'm France. <laughs> picking France to take on England to upset the dominating English team. Unlike you, when I say I don't pick England, I won't pick England. <laughs> wow. 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 Little truth spilled out of the king right there. John, who do you like? You like England or France? You also <laughs> pick England. You have 30 <laughs> seconds to make your pick or have your mic turned off. <laughs> are, you, are you kidding me? His mic's off. His mic is off, Please ladies and gentlemen. Disrespect. While he's <laughs> holding his whale penis, I am going to make my pick, which is England over France. And now we'll bring John back. I'm going with England. That's who I'm going with. How about that, pal? Okay. Don't call me pal. Okay. Italy hosting Wales, Gift. In this one, A, the power of the I over the W. I comes first before W. Italy, ground and pound, taking it to Wales. Shout out Jasmine Joyce. My weekly Gareth Noakes. Oh. My pal from Wales. One of the best guys in the world, runs some wonderful programs around the world with rugby using kids. Wonderful guy, Gareth Noakes. I'm going with Gareth Noakes and Wales to go over Italy. The only reason I'm going to leave that in the edit is because of the work that he does with those kids. And that is your second redeeming quality, the fact that you work with kids at risk. Those are, That's two of your three redeeming qualities we may have to use the other one later on in the show. Uh, I am going to go with Italy over Wells, as John likes to call them. Uh, Scotland versus Ireland gift. I do like the power of the wavy blue coming through, but I'm actually going to keep it Ireland because last week was an emotional win, and, and I like to switch it up like that. So Ireland over Scotland. I don't know what the score will be, but I do look at Ireland to take the score and the points against Scotland. Scottish ladies went down and they rolled them ladies in Italy. That's what they did. They've celebrated all week. They're waiting on the Irish. They're going to celebrate again. The Scottish ladies from the Highlands, William Wallace. Freedom! Let's go. Okay. All right. All right. We, we went, we're running way over time right now. So we're going to take a quick break and come back with MLR uh, and a whole bunch of other stuff. Uh, right after this. Need a great price on a new vehicle? Sheehy makes it easy. Easy Price shows you our lowest prices on the Mid-Atlantic's largest selection. Find your best price online or at any of our 31 dealerships. It's easy at Sheehy. Sheehy.com. If you're in New York City and want to watch some great rugby, have some great food, and some great times, go to the world's best rugby pub, The Pig & Whistle on West 36th Street. comes America's longest running and most popular rugby show. The biggest names in Major League Rugby, MLR highlights and big match previews. Rugby Wrap-Up presents MLR Weekly, made in New York City. 
Run it. I can't take no loss. Yeah. I don't even know what it costs. Yeah, I hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, hit the ground and it go off. Yeah, yeah, run it, run it. Oh, I really feel it's my time. Think it's my year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I really get. I might have to pro some. Yeah, jump for worthy. They gon' have to retire my jersey early. Whole crew coming. Had to work something cause I had nothing in my pocket. Yeah, I did all that. Big plans. Partners trying to make profits. Yeah, I did all that. Work sweating, tears breaking, even no ends. Yeah, I did all that. Had to make it happen. Put now was in my practice. I did it all that. Yeah. It's my time, think it's my Yeah All right, we're back. And guys, we're going back onto American soil for Major League Rugby. We're at Seattle, John, hosting Dallas. Right now, the early line is a, a modest minus 10 in favor of Seattle, but Dallas can play tough. Dallas can play tough, and Dallas can win some games. They have looked really well the last uh, half part of this season. Uh, and Dallas has played some really tough, close games. Uh, but Seattle is, I think, they're they're hitting on all cylinders. Going up to Starfire, it's where dreams go to die. Ooh. And I got a rookie doll. And until Dallas gives me a Dallas doll, I'm going with Seattle. That's that's some d- d- deep research there, ladies and gentlemen. Gift Nala hosting your Toronto Arrows. And the early line is Nola, the home team, minus twelve. It's like every day you just like to select violence for no reason. My Toronto, I see you. I see you. All right, Mr. Jersey boy. Look, I'm a say- <laughs> the Look, most last face week. In the world. Please let him know. Toronto's not gonna be able to handle the heat that's gonna be going down in New Orleans because it's only gonna be hot and it's only gonna be wet. These are the only two things, and that means it's gonna be muggy. Them Canadians don't know how to deal with this. Them Canadians don't know how to deal with us like that. Look for New Orleans to be able to get the 12 points, the win, and of course the celebration in this. Mardi Gras style, post Mardi Gras life. The next one up is New England hosting New York. New York was very fortunate to get those two bonus points in that loss because it looked like they were going to get blown out of the park at halftime, but they came back, maybe fueled by the little uh, extracurricular activity by their strength and conditioning coach (laughs) and the head coach of Houston. New England favored in Quincy, Massachusetts by 13 points. That could go up. You have questions on New York's health even more so now with the potential of Jason Emery being out. He was filling in for Jack Hyten at fly half. That's a tough one, New York and New England. Look for New England to win that one. Oh, you're picking against your against New York. New York? I said, look for New England to win that one. I didn't say who I was picking. It's literally you picking them. <laughs> you know what? Agree to disagree. <laughs> okay, George Santos. We'll, we will we'll let you do whatever you want. John, San Diego hosting Houston. San Diego at home minus three. This is going to be the game of the year uh, up till this point. I think it's going to be a phenomenal game. Hope the weather's good. Uh, I can't see Houston beating them again. I think home field advantage is that important. If it was in Houston, I bet on Houston to San Diego. I bet on San Diego. I'm going to go with San Diego to, to win this game. I think that's a good pick, and that's it. There are only four games this weekend. So you got uh, four teams on a bye. Yeah, uh, how about we put all the games on at the same time this weekend like they do most <laughs> Let's talk a little Heineken Cup, the European Champions Cup, as it's uh, lesser known as. Leinster hosting Toulouse. Eight and a half is the spread. Leinster, the favorites, by eight and a half. Gift, what do you think? I think Toulouse just has far more experience, far better players, far more talent, far more speed. I look at Toulouse. Both two teams that will blow out teams offensively, but I look for this to be a close game with Toulouse taking the top over the top. John? Hey, how about Wooden Spoon for the URC also? They let Lister go down and take a B team down to South Africa and lose, what, 62 to 7? Fans pay good money to come watch the Stars. If they're not if they're not going to play the Stars because of scheduling, because of championship games, they don't need to schedule the games. That being said, I'm not faulting Lister. I'm fault, faulting the scheduling, same as I'm doing with the MLR. Leinster is absolutely loaded. Without Johnny Sexton, that that does hurt them, but they are so freaking deep. That home field is a real home field 
in double. This is going to be a great game. I can't wait to watch it. I think they win the game, and I think they probably do cover the points. I would bet Leinster here. Dublin is going to be rocking. Toulouse is a great team, but it's hard to overcome all of that. And Leinster, you know, I, I got to agree with you on the other part of it going down to South Africa because the South African fans, the Bulls fans in particular, were teased by thinking because, oh, Leinster won the week before, so maybe they'll they'll uh, they'll want to piggyback that and win here again. Uh-uh, didn't happen. La Rochelle, minus 11 and a half. Versus Exeter in La Rochelle. Gift. I'm going to give it to Exeter, get the upset. I'll buy it with 11 points. I look at them to get the points. I don't know if Exeter will get the win, but I look at Exeter to get the points. I think Exeter, Exeter got uh, good good fortune, not, not luck, but good fortune to get to this round. I don't think they go any further. I think La Rochelle wins this, and I think they cover. Holy smoke, some logic. Wow. Okay. Now, wait a minute, you dumb. Just because I agree with you does not mean it's logic, all right? You're going, oh, he's smart please, because I please. agree with you. Look at the records, please. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Look at the records. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Listen, Ronan O'Gara, one of the best players in Irish rugby history, is the coach of La Rochelle. There's no way he's going to let his team lose to an English team. They're going to wipe up the floor with them. What is wrong with your language? Trying to get Listerine to be a sponsor. Maybe. Mother. <laughs> okay. All right. We're going to take another break on that note and come back with the third part of our show just after this. back and we are back with super rugby pacifica gift what do you like in this one hey look man you got to take it for one of the top games that are coming out of this hurricanes versus the brumbies is new zealand versus australia brumbies are number two in the rankings but looking at what they've done they have done absolutely nothing against new zealand teams the blues they barely beat in the crusaders they got pumped down look for the hurricanes to move up to be able to take that brumbies team out Woo-hoo. australia is no longer going to be able to talk about uh, sheep herders and the Hurricanes are just going to be washing out wow. those Brumbies. Okay. All right. I like that. John, anything to catch your eye? Yep. Drew has got a home game, but it's not really a home game because they're playing all straight and they're playing the Blues. What the Blues are going to do is that they're going to open up a six. A six-pack of whoop on them boys. Don't go to Australia expecting to beat a bunch of Kiwis. The Blues are going to roll. All right. Okay. Crusaders going into Hamilton to face the Chiefs. I like the Chiefs minus five and a half to lose to the Crusaders. That's right. My Crusaders who have picked me up all season long when I, when I was down with my picks, they came back. I'm going with the Crusaders. Moving on to the NRL. Gift, anything in the NRL catch your eye? Look for the Knights to be able to take on top. Eels, I call them the best dancing team. They got the hips to make the moves, but they just can't get through. Look for the Knights to be able to dig deep, get in there, and uh, stroke out a win. Let's go. All right, stroke out a win. (laughs) I'm betting the Warriors just because I refuse to bet on anybody named Rooster. (laughs) How about South Carolina? Go Cox. Come on. What's the big deal? Grow up. <laughs> Grow up. I'm going with Russell Crowe's Rabbitohs, baby. Russell Crowe's Rabbitohs are going to win this week. Gift, we're running out of time, so why don't you be our, our salvation in the other Super Rugby, Super Rugby Americas? Yeah, man, look, congratulations to the American Raptors for finally representing the U.S. in a positive way by getting an actual win against a team 
utilizing the climate. This is what I'm always talking about. If you're going to do it the American way, make sure you leverage everything that people can't do anything about. That's what it's about. That being said, they get another week to be able to do that same thing again, pen a roll. Make sure that warm weather loving team is not able to feel their feet as they go up into the cold mountainous levels of Denver to be able to do what they need to do. Look for the Raptors to hopefully eke out a second win so that we don't have to rely on the USA Hawks to do the other rest of the work. Okay. All right. And the irony is that Selknam, the team from Chile, was awfully chilly in Denver. So they lost. All right. We are literally out of time. So we've got just a minute to do our picks of the week and then plugs gift pick of the week cobras to get their third win of the season and that's all right against the pampas okay all right john new york has the bad luck this year also the good fortune last year of winning the championship but everybody wants to beat the defending champions unfortunately they are missing a lot of players however those guys that are replacements they're pros also they're going to show up. I think they're going to show some pride. I don't think they're going to win this game in New England, but I think they're going to cover the point spread in New England. I'm betting on New York, unlike you, Matt McCarthy. Okay, so that's a Major League Rugby bet after the Super Rugby Americas, and I'm going to go Super Rugby Pacifica again, and I like the Rebels uh, against Moana Pacifica at six and a half. I think the Rebels are going to destroy them because it's not a true home game. For the Fijian team, they're playing in Australia, in Perth. Before we say our goodbyes, Gift, anything to plug? Big shout out to Howard Women for getting to the Nationals in D2 for the first time in one and a half years, our first HBCU to be national championship contenders. Shout out to Howard Men for making it into the College Rugby Championship 7s, 8C, taking on Wheeling. I look for them to actually show and actually surprise these teams because people don't know anything about them, but I do because I got to watch them. And of course, shout out to University of Maine Farmington, our 2023 Women's HBCU Rugby Champion for winning Beast of the East Plate Cup and all that good stuff. Yo, we have champions at the HBC Rugby Classic. And of course, always listen, Rugby Swag Show. We're going to be coming back. Definitely check us out. John, do you have eight plugs to go along with Gift 7? <laughs> no, I just got one. Memphis Inner City Rugby. Got a big golf tournament coming up in the middle of May. Please come out and support it. You are talking, talking about growing the game, several state champions, several All-Americans. More importantly, 100% of these kids are graduating school because it's all about the kids. Sport's great, all about the kids. Memphis Inner City Rugby, please support this charity. All right. I want to salute Navy for beating Lindenwood, and I want to salute Lindenwood for being good losers. 12-10, what an exciting match in the CRAA college, championship, uh, college playoffs. But also, now we've got the sevens with the NCR CRC sevens down in, in Maryland. I'll be there three days of rugby. It's like cramming March Madness into one weekend. Male and female sevens, great sevens play. You got to check it out. Go to collegiaterugbychampionship.com or just go to rugbywrapup.com where we have a preview of the match with John Broker. And on that note, we're out of time. Thank you to John, Brad, Shaw, Layfield, the WWE legend, and King Gift A. Bailu, the inventor of words. And thank you for tuning in. Until we see each other again, check out our other shows, including MLR Weekly, the newly rebooted college rugby wrap-up. Hit that subscribe button on YouTube. Sign up for our weekly newsletter. And please join our American Red Cross blood donor team. <laughs>